Last time out we were in the Mirage Saloon. Well, in the beer garden at least. You know, restrictions and all that. But let's not worry too much about last week, partly due to the questionable ending. You can check it out here if you haven't already. Without being crude, this week's all about oil ocean. Oh yeah. Act 1 introduces this level's main challenges and mechanics. Spoiler alert, this week is all about Act 2. Stay tuned for this. Fly high over the fans to avoid getting stuck. I accidentally entered this balloon cannon thing, but it takes me where I want to go anyway. Thank you. Oil slides are a common feature. Some you can slip right out of, some cause a bit of trouble, but they're all possible. Lifts are a pain, they go back up if you faff about too much, but they're not too bad. But then, hits the fan. This took a few attempts, but getting a bit of luck with timing, you can just slip through in a break in the breeze. And really, that's the only challenges posed by Act 1, onto this spanner of a boss. Again, I take a bit of time to learn his patterns, I research the levels extensively in order to find the best route for these runs, but normally tackle the bosses on the fly. This one can be hit at any point that's in the foreground, stay central to avoid the spikes when the gas burners pop, and hit the boss as he swoops by. Spanner throw can be avoided by jumping just as he throws, this means he aims safely above Sonic's head. Get enough hits in and you take him down setting fire to the entire world, worth it. And we're on to the juicy part of the run. This is perhaps my favourite act of any stage so far, strap in. First of all, I just need to explain this act's special mechanic. Because we burnt all the fossil fuels like there's no tomorrow, smog descends on oil ocean, choking Sonic. This drains rings and eventually kills him. You can clear a smog using a plunger. Why has no one invented these in real life? Come on Elon. So you have to be quick getting between plungers in this act. I'm going to put up this map where I've marked my route and the plungers on so that we can follow along. And with that clear, we start. And we're stuck on the first plunger. Mucho time later, a break free. On with the level. Now you can't fly through these waterfalls of oil, so I have to avoid them. At this point, luckily, I can fly up and over, and I find my way to the first checkpoint. I accidentally discover a shortcut up to the level above, and have a bit of a fight to get out of an oil slide. But we're at plunger two. It's only a short hop to plunger three. Exit to the right hand side. The left hand side leads to an oil fall, which cannot be crossed. After leaving the area, keep high and land on this thingy majig. Jump from the tip to enter a balloon cannon like Act 1. This cuts a sizeable chunk of the level. Drop down below this collapsing floor to clear the air. Tails, you're not as cool as Knuckles, bruh. With the air cleared, we can press on. Make sure to pick up this fire shield. Why? With a fire shield, you can get through the oil falls. Double jump and the horizontal movement can carry you through without getting stuck. I don't want to lose my fire shield, but it makes this double quarter pipe tricky to ascend. Cross the submarine, and we have a challenging section that took me a few attempts. This crumbling floor means that you are in reverse gear. You can jump the oil pond, avoiding the orbinaut, then hit this octopus so you can catch the elevator. It's not the end of the world, but I did die once when I didn't take the elevator and landed in the oil below. So head down in the lift and across another submarine to enter the boss. The first double win since Green Hill Zone hangs in the balance on being able to kill this boss. Thanks. The fog clears for this fight. Sure, I die, but I find a workable strat quite quickly. Get Sonic to this part of the platform, avoid the gun tentacle flying over the lasers. Land, and you can get two hits in on its wheels. Avoid the yellow blobs and repeat. Do that twice for four hits and you take a tentacle out. So it's an octopus, yeah? And we have to take out its tentacles, right? So we have to do that process how many times? That's right, once more. Stand here this time, and four hits later, we're onto the final part of this mechanical calamari. Avoid the hazards as before, and land a hit on the head that appears between the platforms. A few hits later, we send this boss back into the deep. That's Act 1 and 2 clear without moving Sonic. A well overdue victory for sure. Can we keep this form up next week? Time for a sneaky peek. Thanks, as always, for watching. I really enjoyed Act 2 this week. I hope you did too. If you did, hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you in an 8-bit.